If you're new to coding, I would like to actually get a HTML form that actually works and sends information to you. This is the video for you. Okay, I've watched so many of these tutorials where you know you make an HTML form, you make it look pretty, but it actually doesn't do anything without you learning a lot more code and being a lot more advanced. So this is totally for beginners, okay? If you know HTML, then you will be able to follow along with this project. Let's make a working HTML form. It's ugly because we're just doing an HTML. You're going to style it up how you want. And you're also going to be able to submit emails that actually come to you. And we're also going to learn how to redirect to a thank you page afterwards without any other code okay so simply using the code in this HTML file I'm ready let's do it okay so all you're gonna do is start on your code editor of choice I am using WebStorm but feel free to use whatever code editor you wish and I'm just gonna open up a new project as you will see I'm calling this HTML working forum and I'm storing it in a directory or folder called WebStorm Projects that lives on my computer. So I'm just going to hit create. Okay, great. And in here, I'm just going to create a new file. It's going to be an HTML file. I'm going to go ahead and call it index.html. So there we go. Once again, this is the folder and in it, it has a file called index.html. And it's given me some boilerplate code. So make sure to have the same, okay? You will see there is an HTML element and then there's two child elements. So one is the head, which has all the metadata and the second is the body, which we're gonna put stuff we can actually see in here. And if we open this up in the browser, make sure to save this file. I'm pressing Command S to save it. In WebStorm, I could just click here and it will bring up the file for me on the internet. So just like that. Or if you're not using WebStorm, you can just get the path to this. So copy the path, copy the absolute path, and in your browser, just paste it. And once again, you're just viewing that index HTML file on the internet that lives in the project HTML working form that lives in WebStorm projects on my computer. And I'm just going to go ahead and inspect this for now so we can see a little bit more about what's going on under the hood. Great. So now we can change the title of this to HTML working forum. Once again, this is metadata. So if you save this, it won't show up in here, but it will change the tab name up here. So just keep that in mind. Great. I'm just going to minimize for that for now. As I did say, we're just going to be working with this index HTML file. So the first thing I think we should do is create a form, right? So let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to use the form tag I'm going to make an opening tag and a closing tag to create a form element now in the first tag so the opening tag we're going to have a bunch of information we're going to put our target so target and for now we'll just leave that as it is we're also going to have an action and that's going to go to an endpoint I will explain that in a bit and we're going to have a method now if you are just starting out coding this essentially is a HTTP method uh, and the method's going to be post. I'm not going to go into it in too much detail. If you are a beginner, just know that this will help us send information over to a certain endpoint. And that endpoint is essentially a URL. So the URL is going to be formsubmit.co. We're going to be using their endpoint. I'm going to put the documentation of form submit below. So I'll put it in a link in case you want to read more about this and read what other stuff this has to offer outside of what I'm showing you now. Okay, so we're posting information to HTTPS form submit, make sure that's spelled correctly, and then we're gonna put our email address. So I want it to go to codewithania.com, ania at codewithania.com. Great, and as the target for now, I'm just gonna put blank like so, but I will show you what this does later on. Just make sure to do that, and just so this is a bit more readable, I'm gonna put that on three lines, okay? So just like so. Great. So once again, that's the whole opening tag and there's the closing tag. Next, I'm going to have an input element and this is going to essentially be for our name. Let's have another input element. This is going to be for our email so that we know who's emailed us. And then I'm just going to have a text area for some text. So text area, just like so. And then one final input, this is going to be the type of submit. So it's essentially going to show up as a button. Okay, so that is essentially my whole form. I'm just going to make that 
uh, get rid of those so you can see the full thing. And if I now look in the browser and hit refresh, this is what it looks like. It doesn't look great, but like I said, we are not caring about the styling. I just want this to work for you. And then you can style it up and do whatever you wish. Okay, great. So this is kind of the bare minimum. Uh, one thing I am going to do while I'm here, just make sure that this... Uh, does take the type of email just so that this gets kind of formatted and if we put something in that is not an email form and click submit it will tell us this should have an at sign and so on so please include the at and the email address so just like so so we that error message essentially comes because we put in the type of email we can also put a placeholder for example Uh, so, for example, if I put placeholder, it will just kind of allow me to put something like full name. And if we do the same here as well, so placeholder email address and then placeholder here, uh, your message and refresh, then placeholders get put in here. So we kind of know what to do with each. We can also make them required. So let's go ahead and maybe this. One should be required and great. Okay, we are nearly there. Okay, we just need a few things to do. We also need to add the name of each of these things so it gets picked up. We can give this the name of name, as that's what it is. This can have the name of email. And let's give this the name of message. So just keep yours the same. Great, and with that, we are now done, okay? This is the bare minimum that you will need. I'll show you how to personalize some of these things in a bit. For now, if you go here. Now, if you send from here, so I'm just going to show you this. If I go Danny, do Danny at fake.com. Hello, Anya. This won't work, okay? Unable to submit form. This is because it's not open through a web server. So that will not work if you're just simply opening up your file like so. If you are on WebStorm and just kind of want to make sure that this works without actually hosting your file somewhere, you can do so by clicking this and just making sure you're on local host, uh, just like I am. And this is now from a web server. So I can go, let's go with Helen. Let's put in Helen at fake.com. Going to maybe make this a little bit bigger for you. Hi, Anya. And if I submit this, it will take me here and then it will ask me to essentially activate this. So I need to go to my email. So I'm going to go to the email I use. So Anya at codewithania.com, essentially here. And it's essentially asking me to activate form submit. Okay, so I need to activate this form just like so. And then that message will come through. So just wait till this gets done, form activated. Woohoo, this form is now active. Uh, and then if we go back here, you will see that form has been submitted. So Helen, email, message. So these values are essentially what gets sent through. So that's why I'm adding this and this and this was important. See, name, email, message. name, email, message. So great. So that has worked. Let's try one more time. So I'm just going to get rid of that. Let's make this bigger. Let's go Omar D. Omar at fake.com. Omar says hello, Anya. Submit. Okay. And then we do it. This time it's asking me for a capture. So just go ahead and do that. And again, this was submitted. And if I go into my email now, Anya at Code with Anya, I've got a new email and it's from Omar D. Okay, and Omar said, Omar says hello, Anya. So there we go. Now, if I do want to, I'm just going to get rid of all this. Now, we can actually get rid of that capture. We can also get rid of the thank you message page completely and direct it to our own. Before that, I'm going to have to host it on a domain. So I think let's do that next, right? 
I'm going to show you how to do this. So for this, I'm just going to use Hostinger. This is just the one that I usually use, really. But feel free to use your own. So I'm just going to go into Hostinger like so. And I am going to get a domain that I already own. Okay, so I've just signed in. I'm going to go to my account. I'm going to go to Hosting. I own two websites. So let's go with codersdxb.com. If you want a discount or something for hosting, please do check out the link in the video description as well as I can give you a percentage off. This isn't sponsored, but I do work with them sometimes and they've given me that for free. So go check it out if you want a discount, if you want to buy your own domain. Like I said, I've already bought a domain. It's Coders DXB. I'm already hosting it. So all I would do is click on the file manager, double click in here. Create an index HTML page if one doesn't exist. And I'm just going to literally copy all my HTML. So all of the contents of that index HTML file and paste it. Okay, so that is all I have done. And then click save. So now if I visit codersdxb.com, there's my file, right? There's my index HTML file that I just made. And I can now in here add some more code to get rid of the capture. So maybe let's do it down here. I'm just going to paste it in like that. Hopefully you can see it. I have added an input with the type hidden. Name is capture and I've given the value of this to be false. So that's the code I have added. Please save that. Go back here. You might have to clear the cache. So all you would do is go to more tools. Just going to move that over. More tools, clear browsing of data, clear data. Okay, let that do its thing. And then refresh. And if I do any D, any at fake.com. Hi, Anya. Submit. And once again, we just need to activate this as it's coming from a different web server. So Gmail. Great. So we can now activate it again. So once again, this is activating this time from Coders DXB. So now back on Coders DXB. Let's submit again, and this time no capture should appear. And the form was submitted. So once again, we didn't see the capture this time, thanks to this piece of code. Now we can also actually redirect to a thank you page so that we don't see this at all. It will take us to a thank you page. So I'm just going to create that thank you page here, create a new file, call it Thank you.html create. I'm just going to paste in some boilerplate code. So just like that and call this thank you page. And in the body, just give an H1 element that says thank you. Okay. And save that. So thank you. HTML is the file that we also now added in here. So now if we visit coders DXP again and go to thank you.html. It goes to the thank you page, right? So we want to redirect to here. So let's do it. So once again, back in the index HTML file, I'm just going to paste in this code. So hidden name next, and I'm just going to redirect to this. So just make sure to put that there, hit save, go back here. Let's go back to codersdxb.com. Once again, though, I'm just going to make sure that I clear the history. So more tools, clear browsing data, clear data. And we are ready to go. So now if I fill this out, once again, let's go this time with Bobby, Bobby at fake.com. Hi, Anya summit. It should now take me directly to the thank you page. Great. Okay, so I hope this was useful. Hopefully now you can make your own form. So once again, this is a basic form. 
and we have also redirected the thank you page we got rid of the capture and we also got rid of any branding so now it all looks like it's on the codersdxb.com page Let me know what you think of this tutorial. I would love to hear from you. And yeah, let me know if you have any questions below.